You need to dialogue with us. And that's the main reason why we're here. It's the principle of the matter. Why are we here? We understand the financial constraints of the university. But they need to put pressure on who they need to, not on us. The quality of education here at the UWI must not be diminished nor decreased because of any problems with any government or anything that the, gov that the university has. They must address those issues so that they can continue to give the quality of education that our founding fathers invested in. Right? And that our taxpayers continue to invest in. converse with the students before they make any of these decisions and put in these constraints. Yes, we do understand the financial constraints. However, we demand this dialogue with the university students, with the university administration, because it's, unsatisf it's unsatisfactory that we have to come here and then wait to see a sign on the library door. Uh, the library has so this is not a primary school. This library is what we have to demand, this is what we have to use so that we can get our first class honors that they want us to get. I mean, I understand, I can understand the financial constraints that I said before, but it's time that the university administration decides, well, look, you have to speak to the streets before we um, impose these constraints. So, like, the students are holding them. They could be out there studying or saying, oh, no. Yeah, but it's not their work. I'm using it for our room upstairs. And she's assured me that she's been in dialogue with the principal. He's away in, on business in St. Lucia, representing the campus at Open Campus graduation. Yeah? And I'm going to let her speak to you so you can know the exact position that, that we're at at the moment. But we have made some progress. Good. Good evening, students. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yes. Thank you. Um, as Mr. Trenton would have told you, we have been in dialogue with the principal over this particular issue. He is in St. Lucia and he's going to meet with Mr. Trenton on Monday to see how far we can get towards coming up with a solution that is amenable to both parties. Now, we, are, we have agreed that coming up to exams, the periods before exams, we would be in a position to extend the hours so that you can have access to the library until 11 on Fridays. Now that particular schedule I will be able to give Mr. Trenton also on Monday. Unfortunately we cannot do it today because there's no actual physical staff present to keep the library open today past 6 o'clock. But when we speak on Monday we should be able to give you something more definitive and then Mr. Trenton and Sir Hilary with myself and the Burst Overlook to see how we can move forward.